Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining me again. I am very excited today because this afternoon we will experience a total eclipse of the sun. But before we can celebrate the historic event, we need to deep clean the entrance hall and tackle some other cleaning jobs in this 200-year-old house. And then, to celebrate the solar eclipse, I'm going to bake up a fabulous puff pastry appetizer and mix up a delicious cocktail. So please hang out with me. I will try to capture some footage of the eclipse as it happens. Of course, I also need to drink this coffee. This house was built by Nathan Wilde in 1826. Mr. Wilde employed 10 servants to clean and maintain the rather substantial property. Of course, Mr. Wilde did not have access to such modern gadgetry as a microfiber dust mop, an electric vacuum cleaner, or a Rubbermaid spray mop. Thanks to these 20th century inventions, I can maintain the house with only occasional help. I will link all the cleaning equipment I use in the description below. On to the parlor. The green and cream wallpaper here is from Schumacher Wall Coverings. We installed the paper about 20 years ago. On to the dining room. The wall paint is Mulberry from Benjamin Moore. This paint has a lot of blue in it, so anything blue looks fabulous in the room. On to the music room. The branches that you and I forced into early bloom last month are now past their prime. I will remove them to the compost bin. I imagine that Mr. Wilde would have been very impressed with this little cordless vacuum cleaner. In truth, even I am impressed with the gadget. This piano is begging to be played and this table is crying out for flowers. I think we should visit the flower shop a little later today. When I clean, I clean from top to bottom. Just now, I am washing down the door frames, chair rails, wainscoting, and baseboards in the entrance hall. I use a cloth and a product called Simple Green to safely clean these painted surfaces. A tiny drop of mineral oil brings out the luster of the mahogany staircase banister. I use the same oil to polish the newel post at the foot of the staircase.
Cleaning the entrance hall chandelier is a tricky job. Its etched glass hurricanes are both delicate and irreplaceable. I will gently wash the hurricanes in sudsy water. I use a microfiber cloth dampened with common glass cleaner to polish the chandelier's crystal teardrops and baubles. The result after cleaning this way is rather spectacular. Now, we can vacuum the staircase and the floors in the entrance hall. Our arrangement on the entrance hall table is the one that you and I put together in one of last week's episodes. Happily, the flowers are holding up quite well. And finally, we can mop the wood floors. Just now, the floors have a coating of salt that was tracked in during our recent snowstorm. I use a solution of vinegar and water to clean the 200-year-old floors. With the cleaning done, we can drive to the local flower shop. I want to make a small arrangement for the music room table. Yesterday there was sun and there was rain Beauty in the Monday And as the light startled our eyes We let go of disguise And now there's something in the air And a sparkly shimmer on our skin Restore 
are home again. Here are the flowers. So I have tulips, eucalyptus, and something called wax flower. I'm going to use this little vase here. After you and I created that massive flower arrangement for the entrance hall the other day, this arrangement is going to seem quite small. But I do not need a massive flower arrangement for the music room. I just need a simple arrangement for that table. This is flower preservative. There is no rhyme or reason to any of my flower arrangements. It's all guesswork. And there we have it, a nice little arrangement for the table in the music room. Let's see what it looks like there. I'm back. I think this one stem of wax flower is too tall. Perfect. going to clean up my mess here and then we can get cracking on an appetizer to accompany our solar eclipse cocktail. So now we have the total eclipse coming up in a couple of hours so I'm going to go ahead and prepare a celebratory cocktail. I'm going to make Cosmos and I need this much vodka. I'm going to serve the Cosmos in these sensibly sized cocktail glasses. And to the vodka, I'm going to add some lime juice. This Cosmo was absolutely delicious, even though I forgot to add orange liqueur to the mix. And we need cranberry juice. Then we have to have a little sip of this. It's a little strong. Of course, some people would say it's not strong enough. Oh, that's perfect. I'm going to pop this into the refrigerator in just a moment. I need a garnish for the glasses. So I have a lime. I think I'll do whole slices. Just like that. Into the refrigerator. Now I need to prep the one baked appetizer that we will include for our little solar eclipse party. So I'm making puff pastry bacon strips. And here's my bacon. Move this aside. Then I have some puff pastry previously frozen and now thawed, but still quite cold. I'm going to cut the pastry into strips that are approximately the same width as the bacon. I 
I need to change the position of these puff pastry strips. Place a strip of bacon on top of each strip of puff pastry. And it's okay if there's some overhang. I saw someone make these bacon puff pastry appetizers on, I think it was either TikTok or Instagram. They looked wonderful. I tried them for a party and they were indeed wonderful. Now I'm putting a dollop of tomato paste on each bacon strip. Spread the paste over the bacon. Add a light sprinkling of shredded cheese. I'm using Swiss cheese here. You don't need much shredded cheese just enough to lightly cover the bacon strip. And then roll them up as tightly as possible. To ensure that the roll-ups hold their shape, I push a wooden skewer through them. And then I remove the skewer after the roll-ups have baked. I ran out of the first type of skewer, so now I'm using my martini olive skewers. And we have to brush this with egg. Very kind viewer sent me a couple of these pastry brushes after I mentioned in a video that these silicone brushes are good, but they don't really hold whatever you're trying to brush onto pastry. We just want to brush the pastry dough here. And of course the egg will help the pastry to brown beautifully in the oven. Yeah, this brush is definitely working better than the silicone brushes that I have. Unfortunately, there's no mark on the brush, so I cannot link it in the description below. Some non-silicone brushes that I have used, the, the bristles fell out. So this one is great because the bristles are staying in place. I'm going to cover these and then pop them into the refrigerator until it's closer to serving time. getting close to eclipse time. So I'm going to bake off these puff pastry appetizers. My oven is preheated to 400 degrees Fahrenheit or 200 degrees Celsius. These will need 15 to 20 minutes in the oven. And while the puff pastry appetizers are baking, I'm going to go ahead and assemble a very simple charcuterie board. So I have an apple here. And to stop the apple from browning, I'm going to soak it in some lemon juice. And by the way, I did thoroughly wash this cutting board after it had the raw bacon on it. It's already starting to get dark out. This is smoked howdah cheese. Some people say gouda, but apparently the correct pronunciation is howdah. And I can put the cheese on my round charcuterie board, which is really just a cutting board made by my friend Dan Fennell. Then I have some cured smoked ham from Italy. Mm -hmm. 
Then I have some of the chive pesto that you and I made together last fall from the chives in the garden. We froze this. And finally, some seedless black grapes, which I cut into little clusters. And there we have it. I'm going to pour out some cocktails, and then I will meet you in the garden. It's really getting dark outside. While we wait for the sky to grow completely dark, I wanted to share a few notes about the solar eclipse. The next total solar eclipse won't be visible from the United States for more than 20 years. New York, which is where I am, was not in the path of totality for the 2017 eclipse and saw only about 70% coverage. The state recorded its last total eclipse in 1925 and it is expected to be back in the path of totality in 2079 and 2144. So those are two years to look forward to. So this is a very simple charcuterie accompanied by these very simple and frankly, very delicious puff pastry bacon strips. Or maybe I should call them bacon pinwheels. This is totally delicious. The puff pastry is flaky and light. The bacon is crisp on the top where it was exposed to the oven heat. But of course, it's completely cooked. It's smoky and wonderful. And you can taste the hint of the tomato paste. This is really delicious. Now, I wanted to thank you all for watching these videos. And if you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to give it a like and please post a comment because I really love hearing from you. Now we just need to wait for the total eclipse to occur. It's great fun watching the sky get darker and darker. And of course, after a few minutes, full daylight will return. It's gotta be really confusing for the forest creatures. My friends, it is getting very dark now and the birds have stopped singing. And by the way, I am not wearing the special Eclipse sunglasses because, well first, I don't have any, and next, the sky is overcast, and thirdly, I am not going to look up at the sun. Now, by the time you see this video, the eclipse will have been here and done that. But I hope you will let me know if you, too, were in the path of the total eclipse. Well, we are returning to daylight again, so we might as well close out this video. Thank you so much for spending time with me today as we cleaned house, we arranged tulips, we made cosmos, we made this charcuterie board, and we've made these delicious puff pastry appetizers. I really appreciate your company. 
again, thank you so much for watching. And I can put a couple of my other videos at the end of this one that you can enjoy between now and my next upload. Until then, please treat yourself extra well, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye, friends.